Let's look at a few different ways to calculate vertical illuminance in AGI 32. Here in this project I've got a room with a few lights in it. I actually have a sign or a vertical surface with a couple of lights in front of it and then I've got some pole mounted luminaires uh, just placed in the environment. So let's start with the easy thing or the easy way and uh, let's go to the calculation points toolkit and select automatic placement and I'm going to put some vertical points on a wall of this room. So uh, if I just move around and find the surface that I'm interested in, how about that one there, then I've got a point spacing already set up of 2 by 2 and the light meter type here is normal to the surface. So that means if I put points on this vertical surface, I'm automatically going to get vertical illuminance facing into the space on this wall because you can see the normals on the surface are actually facing into the space. All I have to do here is click OK and now you can see that I actually have points on the wall. So there's one way to get vertical illuminance. Now let's go over and look at the sign. This is very similar. Uh, I can just select the sign and now I need to get the appropriate face. So let's flip it around to the face that's actually looking south uh, in our model. And again, same sort of thing. Let's change the point spacing uh, to 2 by 2 and I've got the light meter type at normal to the surface. So I click OK and now I have points on that sign. So that's a couple of easy ways to do this. Now there are some mind-bending sorts of applications of vertical illuminance and vertical illuminance is directional and this is something that that is sometimes confusing for folks. So let's say for example um, I'm interested in in this outdoor application I'm in interested in some vertical planes um, somewhere in between these light poles so what I can actually do is I can go into elevation view looking north at this particular Y coordinate and if I look down here at the coordinate values I can say okay how about at Y equals 90 feet and I can now click at Y equal 90 and I'm in elevation view at this point so what I can do here is I can just use a two-point polygon or a two-point grid so if I click this um, let's go point spacing of 2 by 2. Now this is where it gets critical is the light meter. We don't want a horizontal meter uh, in grid. What I would prefer to have is something that's normal to the grid because I'm going to place the grid in a vertical plane and I'm actually looking north so as I place the grid it will be facing south and we can ensure that this is correct by clicking the meter indicator checkbox here. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, click OK and I'll start at the ground and let's go and do something like um, like that. So what have I done here? Let's take a look in isometric view and now you can see that I have that vertical plane of points and notice the little meter indicator is pointing back south um, so let's go ahead and show one other possible application. This is the one that really sort of uh, tends to throw people off is you can actually aim the light meter in a horizontal plane or a sloped plane uh, in any particular direction. So um, vertical illuminance is often specified along sidewalks or in parking garages uh, as points lay in a horizontal plane. So what I can do is let's just put in a, a two-point polygon here and again points um, two by two or we can change them maybe to five by five since we're going to make a little bit bigger plane and rather than being normal to the grid what I want to happen is I want to fix the aiming angles of the light meter and there is help on this particular topic which is very illuminating.
click the help button click the search tab and let's search for light meter gosh there's a lot of entries here it is right here and we scroll down and there's a table with meter aiming and if we're interested in the meter facing south uh, in our horizontal grid back towards the observer if you would um, then we're interested in an orient angle of 90 and a tilt angle of 90 now um, study this help because the tilting of a light meter is slightly different than the tilting of a luminaire meters are by default up and luminaires are by default down anyway we need 90 and 90 so let's go ahead and kill that and let's put in 90 90 now let's be sure to put our grid on a work plane so um, some of the IES requirements require uh, vertical illuminance looking back at uh, at five feet on a five foot plane. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure our meter indicator is selected, and that looks great. Let's go ahead and lay in our horizontal plane right here. And if we look in isometric view, we can see our meter indicator indeed has the meter pointing backwards, and the plane is up at uh, five feet so let's go ahead and just hit the calculate button real quick and now you can take a look at the vertical illuminance facing backwards uh, or south if you will um, let's look at these values just for a brief moment um, and as you might expect since there are no light sources to the south uh, there is no illuminance on that point because the meter is actually facing back this way so light that might come from this luminaire would be at an extreme glancing angle and uh, uh, so there's essentially no light you look back this way and of course you see more light as the main beam of the luminaire um, hits that area of point so let's look at our other examples just so that uh, we cement the concepts here and we have a vertical plane again with vertical illuminance looking back to the south and that would be a different sort of application that you were interested in and then we've got a uh, a sign so again zero is right up to the top of the sign because uh, essentially the top of the sign is, is very close to the mounting height of the luminaire so um, and in our room you have a very similar situation so these points are all the way up at about nine and a half feet and the luminaires are at ten um, so we're also in direct calculation mode which would not allow any reflected light to be considered so that is a brief look at vertical illuminance